All right, welcome back to Wicked Dad Painting. Today we're going to be painting some barricades from Star Wars Legion. First, we do want to give them some battle damage. Um, so we're going to come in with some sharp hobby clippers here and uh, just make some uh, basically blast marks, th things like that. Uh, we'll clip some bigger ones here first. <clears throat> Get that big chunk out of there. Like it got hit really hard. And then another type of damage that you want to do is just at the tip of your knife. Spin it back and forth. And this one, we're going to change the angle here a little bit so that it is a bigger blast hole. And then we'll show doing some smaller ones later. Make sure your knife stays um, screwed on tight. Uh, this can loosen them up a little bit if you have this type of twist top knife. But yes, we're just going to scoop some of that out. And then so that it doesn't look quite so um, you know, clean and circular. We're going to add a few chips um, randomly around the different sides to make it look like chunks kind of got blasted off of it. So we'll get those pieces carved out. And then we'll move on and do some blast damage somewhere else. But nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be you know super precise you can just sort of go for it and get a general look um, just of some damage you know you it is nice to do things that look like blaster damage because in this game there aren't a whole lot of things that fight with things like claws right but there are plenty of lightsabers so some slashing damage um, you know could be put in here and it would still you know, look just fine. And then this is where we're going to add some smaller holes, just using the very tip and not going that deep, um, just to create some, you know, smaller caliber uh, damage. All right, so that's that done. And then the different barricades do have different amounts of damage, different styles of damage. I did do four of these. Um, for this color scheme, this is kind of a desert type thing that I'm going for here, where these are empirical barricades that have been set up on a desert planet and kind of been there for a while. These could be used on Tatooine, Jeddah, Jakku, anywhere like that. Um, <clears throat> these are the paints I used, so if you're looking for this same color scheme, this is kind of how you'd want to go ahead and do that. So the Agaros, Agaros Dunes goes on pretty thick. Um, we just want to get a nice variation of color, which is why in the paint section it did say Zenithal White Randomized, where this one is a little bit more of a top-down, you can see, with the Zenithal, but a few of the other ones you'll see in the photos, um, that white was coming from different angles, and that just kind of gives us some variation. That underpainting is really important when you're using contrast paints, because if it was all primed in black, then it would just look black, right? But this gives it that um, that gradient that looks really good. Now we're going to come in with some skeleton bone. Really any um, kind of beige color will work for this. And we're just going to dry brush using a soft bristle brush over the whole thing, catching all the edges. Um, but we also go a little bit harder on some of the flat panels, again, just to give it a little bit more variation and a bit of a dusty kind of desert appearance. So you'll see right here on the side kind of what I mean by going a little bit harder on the flat surfaces. It just helps give it that little bit of variation there. And I did dry brush the inside of these as well, even though they'd be getting less light. Um, we still want them to look nice um, as you're going to be looking at them from behind as your guys are behind them shooting out at their enemies. So we still want to look nice back here. We will differentiate a little bit by not doing quite as many edge highlights. Speaking of edge highlights, here we start. Um, I just used a uh, ivory from Vallejo for this. It's pretty bright, um, but it's nice on the tabletop because it really helps you read all the different panels and everything. Um, so yeah, it ended up looking really good. Um, I was a little worried it was almost too bright, but again, um, it's nice to have that contrast, especially between those nice clean edges and then the edges that have taken the battle damage. 
Now I'm not edge highlighting every single edge here, just the upturned ones. And then some of those side facing ones, you'll see here we go all the way down on some of them. On others, we just do like the top half. Um, we really don't want, you know, these to be completely framed by a edge highlight. It's not Space Marine armor. Now I'm coming in with some watered down black paint um, just to create some of that carbon scoring. Just stippling it on there with a beat up brush to get kind of a random pattern. And then get that on all of the damaged areas. You can also do it on some of the non-damaged areas. And it'll just look like blast marks. And then I come in with a bit of a smaller brush and a little thicker black and just get right up next to the damage. Um, so that it's a little more concentrated right where the blast would have hit. So you can see me coming in here with that. And I use a beat up brush for this too. For, for anything like this, I'll use really my more beat up brushes because I don't want to ruin my good brushes, but I also like that the bristles that are kind of bent and wonky will give you a good variation in the texture and style. I also took some of this black and ran it into these corners here again just to give us some nice differentiation and then ran some along the bottom as well so you can see that there the next step is grabbing some metallic I used Vallejo gunmetal um, I know this is more black scoring and then once that black dries here we go we'll come in and uh, We'll just look at my arm for a minute here. My goodness. Okay, this is just swapped to another the one for the for more battle damage. So whoops. Sorry about that. I'm just getting as much variation as we can. It looks like when I was doing the rest of it I missed that top chunk damage so we go back in and add some black to that and kind of fix it up here a bit looks like I've already got some metallic in that big blast hole but we will see that here in just a second once I'm done fiddling with the damage on this one as you can see my editing still needs a little bit of work and editing voiceovers is uh, a little bit beyond time and skill that I have available at the moment so we're just gonna roll with it <clears throat> and there we go all right looks like we didn't get to see the metallic damage but you just take a little bit of gunmetal and put it into the um, the centers of those blast marks and uh, it'll give you a little bit of a metallic shine right where everything was blasted straight down to the steel so thanks for uh, sticking around for this video appreciate it you can see more pictures of these at, on my instagram wicked dad painting um as always thank you for being here like share subscribe go out there and paint something wicked